everyone, welcome to another edition of the Bison pregame show. Another one from the new tailgating lots, along with Jeff Kolpak. I'm Dom Izzo. We're joined today by Mike Bartholomew Barrett, who apparently you're like the two-time grill master or, or champion tailgater. Tell us about that. Uh, every year at the end of the year, they do a tailgating extravaganza, and there's a few awards that you can win. And for the last two years, uh, we've pulled down uh, the best tailgating setup and uh, Bison Pride Awards. So. Oh, bragging already. What is your specialty here? Uh, well, the specialty usually is the food, the menu. My wife is pretty gourmet about that. Um, otherwise, you know, it's just adding all sorts of knickknacks and whatever you can see around you. It's, it's a passion. You know what? Two-time defending champs. That's one more than the team in inside. <laughs> What time do you guys normally get here? Um, if a few hours before the lot opens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for doing this and thanks for uh, putting us up and enjoy Absolutely. the game today. Anytime. Thank you. Mike Bartholomew Barrett. Looking, now, looking forward to the pork sandwich. By I, the way. Let's I, hurry up with this. I am as well. But first off, business here. You're now the champion golfer. I can't believe you didn't put in your application for the PGA Tour. Here a hole in one yesterday. Here it is, my friend. Read and weep, huh? <laughs> One up on you already at, again at, today. at Edgewood, number three, the hole in one. On to the business of the day. The Bison play their first home game in three weeks. Jeffrey, Prairie View AM comes in, a massive underdog. They're coming here for a $200,000 payday. What do we expect out of the Bison today? Well, I think you're going to see a team that wants to get out on top. I think they want to rest their regulars as much as possible. Now, they won't tell you that. I don't think Marcus Williams is going to play today. No. I don't think Ryan Smith will play today. Um, I think uh, this team's uh, going to try to do as business as usual and get on to the Northern Iowa game next week. Try to be as healthy as they can be for what lies ahead, obviously, with Northern Iowa coming down the pipe. Now, you mentioned no Ryan Smith, no Marcus Williams. Tell me in the secondary then, who do you expect to step up, especially with the fact that Colton Eagle obviously will not play for the rest of the year? Well, yeah, Bobby Holman, of course, is going to take his spot. But on the corner, I think you're going to see C.J. Smith a lot today. Mm -hmm. uh, Brendan Pierre will, I think, start too, or at least rotate regularly. Uh, there's stock there. I mean, you got Ariel Boyd, you got some kids, Jordan Champion. Um, it'll be a good uh, test, I think, for these younger kids uh, to see what they can show in a game day. Now, we'll also have our eyes on the other games going on, especially because it's the start of the conference season. We'll do our own Saturday selections here in Terre Haute. Great two running backs, South Dakota State and Indiana State. Who do you like there? You know, I think I'm tired of underestimating South Dakota State. I think they're a little more back than I thought they were. I think their defense is better than I thought they were. Zach Zenner. Uh, remember that name. Where did he come from, by I the way? Uh, great running back. I've seen some highlights of him. Good bounce. Reminds me a lot of uh, Kyle Minette of a couple years ago. You're taking the Jacks, then. I'm taking the Jacks. I'll take Indiana State. It's hard to stop Mr. Bell. Obviously, all the Bison attention will be in Youngstown, Ohio tonight. That's where the Penguins host Northern Iowa. Youngstown's lost 11 in a row. Mark Farley has never lost to YSU. Do they stop it tonight? Yeah, they do. Uh, the odds of sport, I think, are going to catch up to Northern Iowa. Eventually, you're just not going to win every game. Uh, I look at Youngstown at home. I think Youngstown is uh, uh, stocked off offensively. I think their defense is good enough. And they got that win at Pittsburgh. I mean, that's a little swagger in their in their corner. This is a must win for Northern Iowa. They lose this game, then the Bison next week, they might be out of the playoff chase. I'm with Jeff. I like Youngstown. How about here today with the Bison and Prairie View? 55-7. Uh, I think uh, I think we're going to get a good look at those second stringers. Big day for those guys. they got to show if they can uh, make it or not. Let's see Andre Martin. He'll start as well at cornerback. I like the Bison big, 45-7. Jeff and I will be live blogging throughout the game. Our halftime show coming up as well. And the complete highlights and reaction on WDA with the master golfer here from the Bison tailgating lots. Let's, uh, let's play some. <laughs>